Hey, it's Jesus up in skin heaven. Do you also want godly skins? Then go check out csdo.com. Peace out, faggots. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to a new episode. And as you guys saw, Jesus was in on it. Jesus said hello. Jesus said goodbye. We had a good time with Jesus. So hopefully Jesus will come by another time. Um, if you don't know what I'm saying, the video <laughs> the, the, the video I'm referring to will be at the end of this video or at the front. I don't know, you don't know that yet. But uh, yeah, depends on how late it comes in and how late I download it and stuff like that. But uh, as you guys can see, we're on a different site. Yes, this is a sponsored video. So yes, they did pay me to make a video on their website. Don't go full boot. Like, I would love to be transparent about these things, boys. I know a lot of people that aren't in the community. For example, Mo, you heard about it, the Mo scandal, stuff like that. I just accepted the, the offer, and it's still, it, it's already in. So it goes really quick. As you guys can see, uh, I'm betting right now, as you guys can see, my logo usually fits perfectly in these rounds, which is fun. He only put in one case, but I'll taking that from him happily. So uh, hopefully the admins will bet, bet against me sometime. Hopefully. Because then the pots will go up a little higher the value. But hey, who cares, right? So, um, yeah, like, uh, I'm going to do a few pots. Uh, I don't know how many. I don't know how much. But uh, I'm going to be talking about the most candle. Okay, so first of all, as you guys know, I'm friends with Zuri. And as he said in his video, which is down in the description, he's also sponsored by CSGO Diamonds. But he did not have to do anything with the scandal. He doesn't know the bets before they win. Otherwise, he would have told me out of excitement already. Not even joking. If he did, I would know and I would tell. Not tell, but depends. Depends, guys. But I, I know what a 100% sure that Zuri is not involved in this type of scam, okay? Like, he would never do that to his fans. Scamming his fans into betting um, on the site, which he would never do. He's just pro. Like, usually he's really lucky on the site or really rip. But uh, yeah, that, that's just his, his thing, right? But, uh, Zuri, if you're watching this, big shout out to you, mate. You're a good guy. Um, but Mo, what he did, basically, for you guys that don't know, he partnered up with CSGO Diamonds, which was his main sponsor for streams and videos. And what he did with the videos was kind of terrible. Um, he got to know what, um, what number it was gonna roll before it actually did roll. Oh my god, a key! 9%, let's go! Okay, okay. Okay, we, we, now, now it's starting to, to get a bit more fun, but oh uh, yeah, he, he did a lot of fishy, fishy, fishy stuff. Okay, so he knew a lot of uh, rolls before they roll, because he always got an insane bet. Like, he got a 10k bet or something like that. I don't know what he got, but like, uh, like, I don't, that, that's so terrible. But now the round's ending, and it will roll. I just want to see how it rolls, because I haven't seen it yet on this site. If it lands on me, I'll laugh my ass off. Please. Now I need my logo. No, it's not gonna be my my logo. I'm just gonna put this on my second screen, so I have my second screen where I can bet for you guys. Okay. So don't worry. Uh, how much items can you put in? Like 20? Yeah, 20. Let's go 20. But uh, while I'm doing this, I would like to to talk a bit more about Mo and what he did. Okay. So he um knew the numbers before he bet it, so he could make videos and the stream uh, a lot more interesting. Because he knew exactly, yeah, he knew 100%, exact, not, not every time, but he could. He had a list of bets of whatever it was going to be. So he knew whenever it was going to land on, for example, 0001. You know, the, the highest bet you get nine, times 90 or 92. Um, and he basically knew when that was going to hit before the round starts. So that doesn't make CSGO Diamonds fishy. The only thing that why it does make them fishy is that they literally paid him almost one hundred thousand dollars. Not even joking, guys. One hundred thousand dollars to Mo to shut his mouth to shut him up. Yeah, there are screenshots out there. Uh, I will also link the CSGO News episode down below uh, by Jake. He is CSGO News. I probably know him. He has forty thousand subscribers. Awesome guy. Love his videos. So if you're watching this, Jake, also big shout out to you, mate. But while this goes on and we bet and stuff like that, I would like to talk to you guys about this scandal and about things that happen in the CSGO community. Because I think this is terrible for our community. Like, you know that they did this before, okay? CSGO Diamonds, please. I'm not 
blaming anyone, don't want to get sued and stuff like that. Don't want to, don't care. But what I am saying is they, they both said we never did this before. But that's just complete bullshit. Why is that complete bullshit? Because of one reason, one reason only. Okay, here it comes, guys. Like, they paid him $100,000 to not talk about the scandal. Okay, so here's, here's what happens. If you can pay someone $100,000 to shut the fuck up, yeah, and still have profit and still have your website up and running fine and everything, you're doing a fucking great job. And don't, like, if they actually, for example, uh, CSGO Diamonds thought it was worth to give him $100,000. So how much do you think he made from his videos? They both said it was only for fun, but it wasn't. It was fully commercial. No other way you're gonna give some random fucker $100,000 in Bitcoin. Okay? No way. No way. That, that's just it. Like, I'm sorry, but there's no way that you will ever, ever give someone $100,000 for a fucking shut up. Like, for, for them not to talk. That's bullshit. Complete and utter bullshit. Besides that, um, I am also, uh, I'll, I'll talk a bit about how to com how it ruins the community a bit later on. We just have a few more bets. Let me just get this. Uh, no one is online. But uh, yeah, like, um, give me a second. Um, I need to get this to my second screen. Yeah. But yeah, that's why I think it basically ruins this Counter-Strike scene. Um, because one fucking reason. And here, here it comes, guys. Because you know they do, they do this before, right? You know? You know you know they did this before. No way in hell they didn't, right? So, um, that li just leaves the question. With who? With who? With who did they do this? With who did they negotiate? And you can start looking at every single video and be like, oh, he got that one really lucky. But you can just have luck. Like, there's no way of knowing until a YouTuber actually speaks up. So don't go throw shade at anyone. Not necessary. Um, so, yeah, like, don't don't be a, like, don't be a guy that's like, oh, uh, they, they may, like, Sparkos is sponsored by them. He should be, like, Azuri, he's, he was lucky once by... Accident, accidentally, quote unquote, betting. Like, no, of course not. He was just lucky. <laughs> like, there is no way of throwing shade at them. And I love, this is why I love Suri. He's open as hell about everything. Okay, just as me. We're, we're, we're two real guys. We say when it's sponsored, when a lot of people don't say it's sponsored. Like, a lot of people just keep quiet about that. Just promote a site and get on with their day. I actually want people to know that this is a sponsored video. Why? Two reasons. First, for other sponsors, they can see this video and be like, oh, this is actually a pretty cool YouTuber or actually a pretty cool guy. We'd love to have him on the site. Second, because it doesn't help your career if you're lying. Just look at Mo. He got ton, ton of hate, just like CSGO Diamonds, for doing this. Okay, a lot of people are hating right now. Ask me. I am hating. Not both of them, but Mo. Like, you can, like, here, here's what, what you, you probably say. Like, why do you hate CSGO Diamonds? They asked him first to, to do it. That's true, but as a YouTuber, as a content creator, okay, you should say no and just be done. You, you can be say like, no, I just want to do the normal sponsorship with you guys and that's it. Or you can say, no, you're fishy as fuck, I'm leaving, okay? I get that he needs to get his money. I get that. 100% he needs his money. Just as much as anyone else. He needs to pay the fucking bills. Just as me, I need to pay my bills. I don't have any at the moment, but hey. But yeah, you need to pay your bills. So I get that he stayed with them. What I don't get is that he was like, I'll fake my bets to get more views, to get more YouTubers or um, subscribers, to get more uh, interest in the site, and to get more money. Because that's what it was all about. It wasn't about getting more people in his channel. It was about the views and the money generated from that video. And it was about um, the... Oh, nice. And it was 100%, guys, about the fucking monetization of the site. You know, how much the site won? Like, when someone wins big, for example, look at CSGO House. Harrison pulled so many knives on there. So many knives, okay? And 
what happened? He pulled so many knives. And people started going there. He started to get popular as fuck. People were going on CSGO house. And now the cases sell for more. So many people wasted money on that site. Didn't get knives. Didn't get profit. And I'm not saying they're fishy because they're not. I know they like I, for a fact I know that they do not make deals with anyone. Uh, just like CSGO big. You have to be really lucky for to get for to get a deal with them. But yeah guys come on. Like this video is going to be probably a little long. I'm warning you right now. You probably saw it already. It will be a long video, but because this needs to be fucking addressed, okay? I don't care when people fake, like, for example, Screen Freak faked a video once. A knife pull. You're a shitty YouTuber. Not, not, not at that point, right? You fake something to make people more interested to get more views. Okay, kind of shitty, okay? Kind of shitty that you did that for more views. Pretty shitty, actually, but hey. Okay? Who cares? You know? But here comes the one thing that I... Like, this site did it with them. Skin Freak only did it with a case, which is Valve. So nobody got potential more money, got more things by it, but him. But now, you see sites actually rigging their systems so YouTubers can get more stuff for better videos and views and better site monetization. That is terrible. The betting scene will go dead if you keep on doing this. I'm not joking. As a betting YouTuber, as you guys saw, my YouTuber, uh, my, uh, my YouTube videos and uploads have been a lot of betting videos. Almost 199% of the last five months. And I'm not saying this to, to get views, right? I don't care how many views this video gets, really. I just want, even if I teach one person what happened with Mo and with other sites, then it's good. Like, I'm not going to lie, I'm not going to say which site, because I'm not that kind of type of scumbag. But yeah, there have been sites that say that said, um, can you open this for us, or can you do a video on our site? Uh, you probably, Kate, like, usually there are case opening sites. We will give you, from like a $10 or $20 case opening, we'll give you around $50, $60 in items. So you won them. And that's not joking, right? I actually have been offered that, and I denied it. Why? Because I don't want to deal with fake sites. Fake ass sites are fucking terrible. The only thing to do is destroy the community. Literally destroy the community. I'm just gonna go on Steam now. Oh my god, I accidentally clicked on a guy. Um, I'm gonna go to my groups. And I'm just gonna say, come back at me at this site. So let me just copy paste this site. As you guys see, csgoodude.com. I am sponsored. I said it already. Don't mind me. Post an announcement. I'm just going to put spaces between there. Because otherwise Steam will block it. Like this. Post announcement. There you go. There you go. My announcement is there. So hopefully people will come and bet now. Um... But, uh, yeah, but guys, like, I like I am talking to the owner, right? Because this site is not big, okay? This site is not big. So I am talking to the owner, like, hey, could you maybe throw some items in? It's in Dutch, so I can show you if you want. But I'm not for his privacy, okay? For his privacy, I'm not going to do it. Because there's no way, there's no way, you know? Uh, there we go. He, this is the owner, by the way. So yeah, like this is a longer video. Maybe you like these kind, these type of videos where I like bet a bit and talk a lot about the community, the CSGO community, what's going on with me, my life, stuff like that. Oh my God, he took <laughs> He said, "Here they come." Hey, you're right. But yeah, like I like, I hate it. I hate when people fake shit. I hate fake pranks. I hate pranks in overall, because fuck pranks. Um, but I hate that, because you're literally lying as your viewers. But like, Mo will not see this. Otherwise, I would address him personally if I had like the sub Suri has. I would say, Mo, gotta listen up here, buddy. You are a shitty YouTuber, and not because your videos are shit, not because you're shit per, not, not because your videos are shit, not because your community is shit, 
because you're a shit person. You, he literally lied against his fans, like loyal as shit fans, right? They'll literally, if someone attacked him on Twitter, they'll spam attack back. Everything they fucking do for him. What does he do? He makes a an unannounced, like the partnership was announced, but the faking of the bets wasn't. So, but both parties were in on this, guys. Both parties were in, so it's actually shitty by both, but more by Mo. Because as a YouTuber, as a content creator, you should say no. You should say, fuck you. You should say, fuck your betting. Fuck your site. I will release this now that you offered me this. Or you should say, I'm sorry, I just want the normal package. Or you should say, like, I'm sorry, uh, but I'm not going to say anything. But I, I don't want to do anything with you. And I'm not saying, like, Zuri is partnered with them. And I'm not saying he should, right? He should never leave them. Because they're amazing for them, for him. But... As soon as they offer you some fake shit, you used to say, say no, because you're for your fan base. You're not for other shit. You're not for other stuff. You don't want money. You're like, you do want money, but how much money does he make? Come on. Like, and now you start thinking, right? What other sites have done it? Because Mo has been, like, insanely lucky with his bets. Insanely lucky. But can we get this, boys? Before we go on with our rant. I think we did. No, we didn't. Oh my god. We didn't win. But yeah. Like, before I go on, like, I'm gonna go on with my rent now. But like, that's what I hate. Like, sponsors are supposed to be fine. But now the betting scene will just be like the Dutch YouTube scene. And if you guys don't know, the Dutch YouTube scene is basically shit. 100% utter shit. Okay? You, you can be like, oh, oh, it's pretty fine. It isn't. Dutch YouTubers, they fake, they view bot to get on the trending page. They do a lot of fishy stuff to get their views promoted and get money. I'm not saying that's wrong. I know everybody wants money and the Dutch YouTubers that are famous are usually young. Okay, they're like 16 years old, 15 to 16 years old. The ones that do break through, right? So I I wouldn't say I get them fully, but I would say I can understand. Mamo is a grown ass adult man who made a deal for over $100,000 to, to shut up, to not talk about it. And what does he do? He talks about it. So now he can basically be sued. You know? He can be sued out of like the 100,000 that he did. And some more money because he like he basically put the site down. He made this whole controversy. So he literally needs to pay some uh, damage as well. Because the image of CSGO Diamonds is now damaged as hell. Which I, I understand. It is the most not... Like, it's the most active betting site, or one of the most. And I'm sorry, if you're that site, if you're so big, you do not need these type of promotions. Understand that. Understand that you do not do not need $100,000 invested in a YouTuber, just to fake bets, just to get some views. Just pay him, like, I don't know how much they pay new YouTubers like him, because I'm not never dealt with that amount of money. I know they pay them a lot. Uh, I've been working as PR for OnlySkins.com for a while, and we would never, ever fake bets or fake stuff. People have said that we do, but I'm not going to say it on for the company, because I don't know what goes on after I match the YouTubers with them. I cannot judge for that, but 99% sure we don't do it. Always a chance, but like, that's why I want to be open about my sponsorships, because if I'm not... If I'm not right, if I'm not open about my sponsorships, what will happen? What's the first thing that will happen? Guys, please think think about this. If I'm if I'm like the first first you like not to talk about sponsor. Ryan Skull. There you go, mate. You're on YouTube right now. Uh sorry for the rent, everyone. Oh, he's it, Hi YouTube, he said. Okay, there, there you go, Ryan. There you go. Go back there. But uh, yeah, like uh, this will be probably the last bet because we have been going on for a while. Maybe I'll edit some other bets in after this with some music or maybe my voice. But look, we have sixty percent chance. I would love to win a bet right now. I would love to win a bet. But I have been recording for quite long, and um, like I don't want to rant on for much longer because it literally, like this is. Just stabbing a knife into the heart of CSGO betting guy, uh, the community, the betting community. Literally. Mo just didn't shame only CSGO Diamonds, every single betting site that he was involved with. 
is now like looked at like mm, you scammed some things before oh my god really really oh, we're gonna do one more fuck this i ain't i ain't buying your shit i oh, was doing skins only now no no cases but yeah like uh sorry about the rent guys i i don't want to rent as much as i do but it needs to be done i will I want this to be said on my YouTube channel. You can say like, you're just trying to get views. And of course you are. Everyone is. You could say I'm a bitch by get, trying to getting views, right? These one need to go. But you could say I'm a bitch by trying to get views. And you're probably right. You're probably right, mate. I want views. Of course I want views. Otherwise I wouldn't upload it. Like, otherwise we just edit my videos, watch them myself, and have fun with my life. Okay? Otherwise, I wouldn't be so hardcore into making thumbnails, making everything nice and cool for you guys to watch. And of course, YouTubers want views. Of course, we want views. Like, no way, we don't want views. We love views. That's why we do YouTube. We want to get famous, mate. But, like, there, you need to draw a line between faking shit. Like, sponsors are run 100% fine. I did a lot of sponsored videos, as you guys know. I was even sponsored by CSGO Big for a while. But there is no reason at all. No reason at all. To even get close. And as I said, I was only doing cases bet. But now, one of my bets has come in with only cases. I had two bets. I both accepted them. Let's see what, what, what would go in first. But yeah. Here, like that's what I mean, boys. This will be our last bet. I have one minute more. So in this last minute, I would talk to you about something happy, something fun. Okay. So pixelfire dot dot gg. Just go to that site real quick. Um, this is just a teaser. I'm not saying anything right now. I'm talking to these guys, and you're like, wait, this is an esports comp comp company, right? This is actually like tournaments, organizations, and stuff like that. They, they, uh, they arrange tournaments for pro players. What, uh, what am I doing with that? Uh, if you guys may have followed me on Twitter, please do follow me on Twitter. Um, I post there every Friday that I'm uh, casting Aces uh, Friday Night Bash. Which is organized by Aces, of course. Amazing people. I've talked to the Aces D, the German Aces. I'm not German, but they did sponsor the event. Um, I've been talking to them for a while. They're pretty cool guys. They, they uh, partnered up with 99 Damage and allowed me to cast the English version. So yes, I do cast the English version every Friday on... Um, I think it's twitch.tv, uh, ESL, and something like that. Video will be in the descriptions, as well as Zuri's video... Uh, CSGO Diamonds where he explains what halfway through about what's going on with Mo and CSGO News uh, Where he talks about the entire situation with um, Mo and the other youtubers, okay? We on the description just as a link for my twitch channel where I do stream um, The Friday Night Bash at 6 o'clock standard time Hot, yeah, Dutch time European time um, And it's pretty fun uh, we just have a lot of fun. It's not professionally or something like that. I'm just casting, talking, chit-chat, having fun. That's what Friday Night Bash is all about. So, if you want, you come check it out. I have 83%. Oh my god, if I lose this, I'll be pissed as hell. I'm not even joking. If I lose this, I'm done with this site. Really? Really? My god. Okay. Uh, let me see if I... No, I actually did not even have a single... Inf what the hell? Okay, guys, so I was really unlucky on this site. Uh, you'll find me playing on here quite often because I can just put my cases in here. Have some bit of fun. As you guys see, a lot of people win with a low percentage. Low percentage as hell. Oh. So, yeah. If you want anything to do with this website, just click the link in the descriptions. The top link will be this link, then Suri's video, then my Twitch, then everything else. So, thank you guys for watching this pretty long video and rant. Uh, hopefully you pretty much enjoyed my ranting. If you like it, please comment down below why you like it or that you don't like it or that you just want to see CSGO back. Yes, I've seen the comments. I know CSGO wants to be get like that you want CSGO uh, big back. But it's hard for me, guys. It's hard. But I'll do my best. But guys, thank you so much for watching. And everything will be fine. Hopefully you'll come check me out on my stream this Friday night. We'll see you later and goodbye.